optional thing that you can do either during or after you're finished with your entry. You can explore the species that you have drawn or that you have seen and you can use a field guide to identify the species. I have two with me today. Field guides in general use visual clues to help guide you to identify what you see in real life. They can include pictures or descriptions that you can use to compare to what you are trying to identify. These clues include location, habitat, patterns, color, shape, and meniscal details that may differ between alike species or objects. So you can see here I have Naturally Curious by Mary Holland. This book is organized by month. So here I have found the firefly or the lightning bug. While this book doesn't offer too much as an identification guide, it does offer a lot of facts and information. If you do want more of an identification field guide, Peterson Field Guides are a great place to start. They offer books in various different identification categories. Here I have Eastern Trees. This particular book is organized by the shape of leaves that are on the tree that you're seeing. These books come with a great illustration of how the book is split up so that you can know what the different shapes are for leaves. To create an example of how to use this book, I'm going to be using this tree right behind the picnic rock. You can see that each leaf comes from a different point. They don't come from the same area. These leaves come from different areas. As opposed to up here, these are opposite leaves. They are directly opposite of each other. So we are looking at simple alternate. The next step is to look for other distinguishing features about the leaves or the bark of the tree. For trees specifically, you do need to know quite a bit about leaf shape and vocabulary. We won't be going through that in this video, but this is a fan lobed leaf. And so a few pages in, you can see that we found trees with alternate fan lobed leaves. And here, looks just like what we have here. Before you determine that the tree that you're looking at is a tulip tree, we want to go ahead and compare with the information that we see over here. After going through those, I feel pretty confident that this leaf came from a tulip tree. So over in this chart with all the information, you can see the very last box has the text page. Now we're going to go to that page and we can read more information about the tree that we are looking at. And here we go. We have our tree name, the scientific theme, information about how it grows, how high it grows, and more.